Conor McGregor never ceases to amaze me. Over the weekend, he took on a fight. Unpaid over a girl who wasn't his wife. To explain to you guys the fall from grace that this is, okay? Th I think this is by far one of the worst things Conor has done, just in like self-embarrassment aspect. Okay, to explain to you the fall from grace, we first have to get to the crux of the issue, the girl. Who is this girl that they are fighting over? You guys don't know who Megan Fox is. She was in Transformers. She's really, really pretty, whatever. Everybody like loved her. Everybody wanted to marry her. And she ended up getting married to this guy right here. She had three kids and I think they were married for like 10 years or some shit. 10 years, bro. And they have three little kids. To get into my mindset, imagine if you were six and your 35 year old mother did this to you. You got your dad and your mom together, all right? And then your mom leaves your dad and you guys to go sleep with a rock star who's not even like officially dating her. He's probably not gonna, like if you guys seriously consider, if you guys seriously think Machine Gun Kelly is gonna marry a 35 year old woman, bro, he probably wants kids. He probably wants kids and if he has kids with a 35 year old woman, if you guys don't know, at 35, women become high risk. That means their kids are gonna come out not looking like you and me. They're gonna come out looking like Simple Jack, okay? You don't want, like, like it's, like, it's really, it's really shitty, but like, bro, like, like, it's like one in five children born from a woman over the age of 35 comes out, like, with some sort of, like, dysfunction. So she left him for a guy who's probably not gonna marry her and give her kids, okay? Imagine if this was your, imagine if this was your mom, how much you would hate her. How much you would hate your mom, how much of a worthless woman you would consider her to be. This is how we should judge Megan Fox, okay? She's beautiful, let her suck your wiener, but she gets none of the benefits of being like, of being like my girlfriend or like, you know what I mean? Like she shouldn't, at least by my standards, like she, like you shouldn't be seen out in public with her. You wouldn't fight over, like you wouldn't fight over a swing set on the playground. You just wait till your turn. Like it's, it's not. It, you understand what I'm saying? Like, it, it's, it's not that big of a fish. You understand? Okay. And she's dating Machine Gun Kelly. Okay. I can only think that she is with him for the clout. There's no way he holds any masculine traits. There's no way, unless she's literally just into girls. But I, like. I'm telling you, I could shove him down on the ground and make him cry. Like I, I could shove him on the ground and not let him get back up. You understand what I'm saying? Like I feel like most most high school age boys could probably do this. He's like, he looks pathetic, and she left her husband and kids for this guy. All right. In my opinion, it's probably for the clout. Like you don't leave this guy for this guy if it's not for like if there aren't more superficial reasons. In my opinion, like. Bro, why would you leave husband and three kids that you have 10 years invested in for this guy who's like, like what could he give, like what could possibly be so good with Machine Gun Kelly that her three kids don't provide her? Worthless bitch, worthless, worthless bitch. Dating Machine Gun Kelly, clearly for the, cl clearly for the clout, a clout couple. They've been in the news like a million times since they started dating, whatever. This is what she gets off on. They're both pathetic little losers, in my opinion. I mean, who am I? I live in two bedroom condo. But like, their character set screams pathetic. Their character screams pathetic and alone on the deathbed. Or like, only with people that you paid. So Conor McGregor, all right, not just Conor McGregor. To be a world champion, to earn the status of a world champion, you, at the same time, earn the respect of just about everybody in the world, except for complete morons. All right, you have fought tooth and nail to prove to everybody that you're the best. At least at one point in your life, you were the best. And you deserve a certain level of respect, in my opinion. You deserve to have your voice heard. You like, regardless of your financial status, regardless, regardless. But that can be very easily taken away from you by nobody but yourself. The only person that can take away the respect that other people have for you, that you have earned, is yourself. Does that make sense? Through your own actions. So in general, when someone's a world champion and they command this kind of respect, they generally value it and they see like, like at least in, from what I can tell in the UFC and MMA world, generally 
as far as martial artists go, you want them to be humble and not let it go to their head and not set a bad example for, like, children and, you know what I mean? Try, just try to, like, like, keep the shit going, okay? Conor McGregor is, like, you, you can't explain it anything else, any other way. He is completely, he, he was on welfare. He took money from the mouths of hungry mothers so that he could, like, go for his fight career. You know what I mean? He should have been, like working in a slaughterhouse full time, making minimum wage at least. He should have while, while he was pursuing his fight career. But instead, he selfishly took money from the government, took money from mother's mouths, so that he could spend all of his time focusing, working harder than other people can, because they got too much pride to take money from the government. Right, and I'm not saying if you, I'm not saying if you, if you get welfare, you're a bad person. If you get welfare and you can work, you're a bad person. Like if you if you're like able to get a job and like you're just pursuing a dream, I'm not a fan of it. I I am as a man, I am not a fan of it. Okay, so you have to understand that like why a man like this would do this. All right, a man with this much respect, he is classless. He literally just he's just a bum. He's just an Irish bum who's got hands, and you gotta love him for that. You gotta love him for it, but you cannot expect much. You cannot expect much. At the end of the day, he is an Irish bum with millions and millions of dollars. The type of person you are is not defined by the suit you wear or the tie you got or the boat you drive or the cars you got. You know what I mean? It's not it's not defined by that. It's in my opinion, it's defined by how you like how what you do with resources that you earn, how you provide for the people around you, how you treat the people around you, how you affect the community that has brought you into a position of power as a man that has allowed you to grow like to grow and flourish and not be killed and robbed and like attacked you understand like like these are the things that matter not like getting all these fancy boats and shit like like that's so stupid it's so it, it's so dumb and it makes him look so pathetic like and and it makes it makes conor mcgregor fans look pathetic it makes him look like like they just don't care like, like they're just on his wiener just to be on his wiener bunch of weenies all around Bunch of weenies all around. You know what I mean? You should not sh like like watch, laugh. You know what I mean? Like, don't try to be these people. It's like don't try to be these people. And like in this whole thing, in this whole thing, all right, Machine Gun Kelly, all right, being like I, I really don't like him. Like whatever, he just annoys me, bro. He's he's completely in the right. You know what I mean? Conor McGregor tried to like grab his girlfriend and ask for a picture, and he said no and like pushed him off like. Fucking weirdo should like, and then Conor McGregor tries to fight him, tries to fight this fucking weenie. Like he's literally, like dude, you will hurt him. You will really hurt him. Like what are you doing? You're a world champion professional, like, and you're in your thirties. You got kids, like bro. <laughs> it's fucking sad. This shit's sad. Whatever. If you guys like that video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Check out my other videos. I post every day at nine. But until next time, I'll see you guys. Peace.